Alright, we're back with another one. Obviously, obviously I had to do this. May be the Saints quarterback uh, for the rest of the year. So we definitely going to look at this game film. Trevor Simeon, quarterback, New Orleans Saints. The guy that beat Tom Brady. Let's jump into it. This right here is actually his first play you know, of the game right here. This is right after Jameis went down. We watch, then we critique. Alright, almost interception out the gate. But let me tell you why. Maybe could have been a touchdown. Alright, right here. This play, you always, you're reading this safety back here. This is the only guy you're reading. This guy right here. And boom. As this guy does this, this, this should be a, a deep shot to Callaway right here. Instead, he loads up to Troutman thinking he can fit it, you know, in that window before he, that guy gets there. Can't. Almost a pick. But as you can see, this guy is breaking. That's so much space to throw that ball, you know, to Callaway. This backside corner isn't going to get anywhere. If you throw that ball, you know, middle of this field or whatnot, maybe a touchdown, maybe a deep completion. Instead, almost interception. Next play. Quick five-yard stop. Second and ten. You know you need yards. You don't want a third and ten. Good call from Sean Payton. Good route from Charlman. Boom. Get five yards. Turn around. Excellent. And it's a third down. It's this entire first drive right here. Third down. Great decision bomb. Okay, from the snap, you see it's one-on-one. -on -one. Up top with Marquez Callaway. That's what you want as a quarterback. That's what you want as a receiver. Perfect. Boom. Callaway runs this route. He's thinking Callaway is going to break outside. Callaway comes in. Miscommunication. You kind of expect that with a new quarterback, new receiver. I'm sure their you know, chemistry level isn't nowhere near as good as it we know will be if Trevor you know, continues to play quarterback and things like that. So that will get better. I like the decision, though. I'm not, you know, upset about the throw and the miscommunication and things like that. I just like the decision. All right, couple things, couple things, couple things with this play. Once again, we're man to man across the board. The Bucks run a lot of man against us. They didn't respect our corners. I mean, not our corners. They didn't respect our receivers and things like that. And right here, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. Jawan Johnson, you know, in the middle right here, one-on-one -on -one right here. Decent decent route, not the best. The ball's maybe a yard short, but right here I expect I expect him to make that catch. It's just simple as that. He actually has it, but then when he hits the ground, it bounces out. Boom. And then, you know, incompletion, almost interception. However, as much as I killed Jameis for this, Trevor, you're next on the list. <clears throat> Elvin Kamara in the slot, one-on-one. -on -one. Let me tell you something. Ten times out of ten, throw the ball to Elvin Kamara right here. It's going to be open. I guarantee you, if you ever watch this, if you ever see this, just do it. you seen Jameis Winston do it in the, the Seattle game. I promise you, just do it. Let's watch this play back. Kamara one-on-one. -on -one. Boom, right here. He's open. Throw that ball to him. Right there, you know, not mad at the shot to Juwan Johnson, but I have to be consistent. Have to be consistent. Elvin Kamara's one on one. Throw the ball to Elvin Kamara. Simple as that. All right, this is gonna piss me off. Let's just watch this. This that interception that we got luckily, you know, called back on because Tampa D Lyman is is a fool. So many things wrong with this play. All right, let's start off with this right here. We're gonna start off with. Traquan Smith throwing his hand up. Hey, buddy, you are not open. You are not open, sir. Put your hand down. You're not open. Nothing about this says I'm open. Two, Trevor Simeon, don't throw this damn ball. He's not open. I know you guys throwing his hand up. You know you're the new kid on the block. You want to throw it to your receiver. No. No, 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 no. Throw the check down, and you'd have been fine. But that's not even the main problem I have with this play. This is the main problem I have with this play. Well, actually, it's two more problems. Let's just get to the second most egregious problem. Right here. Look at our two receivers. Why are we so close to each other? Why are we so close? This is bad route running, bad something. I don't know the play call, so I can't, you know, kill anyone. 
But this is the most egregious part of this play. It is a great play call from Sean Payton. I don't know the route concept. I don't know, but some way, somehow, this needs to be a touchdown. Watch how the Tampa 100% think this is a run. Right here, look at Traquan. All right. Look at everybody on this Bucks team. Some way, somehow, we need to get in the end zone right here. I don't know the play call. I don't know what we're doing. But this picture right here, someone needs to get in the end zone. Traquan Smith, we have to do something. I don't know what's the route, but... I mean, if a team's going to sell out like this against the run, this is just way too much space, way too much everything. Like, it's a route has to be run where we can score a touchdown right here. But we kind of fade it because Traquan even looks confused. I don't know what the hell we're doing. Throws an interception, got called back. I don't know. I don't know. That play pissed me off, though. All right, this play should have been a touchdown. A lot of people criticize Sean Payton in the red zone, but I'm here to tell you he called the absolutely perfect game inside the 10-yard line. The Saints just did they just didn't execute. I couldn't even get those words out. They definitely just didn't execute. Watch this. We'll watch it and then we'll run it back. Everybody's like, "Oh, what a bad call. They didn't even throw the ball in the end zone, you know, quick tackle for loss." But let's run it back because they always say the eye in the sky don't lie. This is a touchdown. Watch this. All right, pause. All right, here. This is a touchdown. My guy, Big 7-4. Hey, I know your replacement. I believe that's James Hurst, which he's a he was playing tackle when Armstead was out. That's why, you know, I'm, I'm going to give him a little break. But we have to make our assignments right here. Armstead, he has the guy, you know, that's going to Adam Troutman, 74 I can't tell what number that is, but you can see the three right here. That's your guy. That is your guy right there. And the guy that's 74, you know, is blocking, that's McCoy guy. That's where the confusion comes in. 74 blocks his guy. McCoy didn't go get his guy. And then look at Ruiz come and cut Sue off right here. But see, look, he left McCoy out to dry. There's no way McCoy is going to run in front of him and get that guy. That's Hurst's guy. If Hurst gets his guy right there, if Hurst just blocks his guy and doesn't turn in, this is a touchdown. Boom. Hurst turns in. Fucks the whole play up. Because now McCoy is going to have to try to run over here and get that guy, and that's just not happening. And like I say, look, Ruiz did his job, cut Sue off. This is a touchdown. This is a touchdown. He just blocks the wrong guy. Can't blame Sean Payton for that. These guys just have to block their guys, man, and that's a touchdown. This is a beautiful. I only put this play in because I want y'all to watch Deontay Harris right here. Watch this route. Just watch this route. This is beautiful. Mm. Hey, if we put that on him earlier, this may be a touchdown, man. If you let that go, if you have some confidence in your guy here, right here, that ball should already been out. See how he took that extra half step backwards? He's waiting on it. He's waiting on it. Right here. So once he sticks that foot in the ground, ball should be out. He waits, boom, boom, an extra two steps. That, if that ball is already on the way to him, I mean, that's touchdown. But boom, it's a little late. He has to stop. Boom, has to fall backwards. You know, he catches the ball, great catch, but that should be a touchdown. That's going to come with experience. That's going to come with chemistry. That could be a touchdown right there as well. All right, another red zone play. Another touchdown opportunity. Another time the Saints didn't execute. Boom, right here, touchdown. You already see it. You already see it, but watch Traquan. Boom, bobbles the ball, gets to like the six-inch yard line. You know, if he just catches this clean, catch the ball, get up in that hole, that bobble, boom, now he has to wait, can't get there, six-inch yard line. Very, very unfortunate. Should have been another touchdown in the red zone. We settled for a lot of field goals, uh, made them, so that's a good thing. But we should have gotten in the end zone way, way more, which, you know, just small things we got to clean up. Right here, beautiful throw right here, man. This is Elvin Kamara once again. He needs to hold this linebacker. I don't know if that's Devin White or Levante David, but he needs to hold him. Have to drag coming across to hold that linebacker. Elvin Kamara does, right? He, he knows the ball's not coming to him. His job is just to hold that linebacker. Boom, that linebacker thinks about it. Now, that gap is going to be wide open right there. Great football. And right here, this is me. This is at the end of the game when everybody was bl blaming Sean Payton once again. Trevor Simeon has to know 
right here. That, see that blitz is coming off the edge. You got one on one in the slot where a cornerback is. I mean, basically seven yards off the ball. You have to go have to go to your receiver here. He chooses Troutman up here. I don't know what kind of ball was this, but that's that's awful. But what you need to do is, because we need this clock to keep running, right here in the slot, man. Watch this. It's there. Boom, boom, boom. Quick stop. Right here. Easy catch. He might make a miss. He might make a miss. You see this guy's coming off the edge, so you know you just have one-on-one -on -one up here. Got to make that throw right there. Have to make that throw in this type of situation. Cause this is what it is. But to say all that, I think he played a fairly good game, honestly. Didn't make any huge mistakes except in that red zone when he threw that interception. We just got blessed with a rough in the passer because the Tampa Bay D lineman ghost and I don't know what he was doing. He just lost his mind. But other than that, I think he played a very, very solid game. Sean Payton said no more quarterbacks. Drew Brees on the uh, NBC broadcast said that Sean Payton really loved Trevor Simeon. So I'm just going to assume that Trevor Simeon is going to be the quarterback moving forward. Taysom's going to stay in his role. Or maybe Taysom will be the quarterback. But if Trevor Simeon is the quarterback, after watching this game again and again, I don't, I'm don't. i not opposed to it. He's not Jameis. Um, we didn't get to really see his arm strength this game. Wish that first play would have just let it rip. Understand why he didn't. First play out there. But we'll, gotta, we'll see next week, man. We'll see in the upcoming weeks what we're going to do. Hey, I'm cheering for who's ever back there. But yeah, man, that's a solid, solid game from him, especially, you know, he didn't, you know, he didn't plan on playing this game. Played a real solid, solid game. Saints as a team need to just clean it up in the red zone. I think we, you know, get in that end zone a lot, a lot more to help out our defense and just to score more points, man. But that's Trevor Simeon against the Bucks. This the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.